I can't wrap my head around organizing my life in a digital format. As much as I want to be able to have a Notion board or a second brain somewhere on the cloud where I could access it from my computer or phone and receive notifications and have them interact, my brain just doesn't function like that. And I'm envious of the people that do. This video is going to be a celebration and a recall back to the art of handcrafted notes because there's some of us out there that I think need acknowledgement that it's okay to use a pen and paper to organize our thoughts. I'm one of those people and you might be too. My name is Chris and this is Nomad Over Normal where we dive deep into the departure of a conventional lifestyle. Thanks for joining the conversation today. I'm always thinking to myself that there's a lot of productivity YouTubers out there and I hope to never really become one of them. I want to be the anti-productivity YouTuber. But a lot of these channels are there just to sort of be like, hey, here's how to optimize and schedule your day so that you could get a lot more done. But it never brings into question what are they optimizing for? There's a lot of people out there seeking out productivity videos because they see successful people or the image of success um, as being efficient and they're like these people that are successful they have efficiency and they run like clockwork I should too but at the same time there's nothing that they're doing that warrants being efficient and it just creates a lot of stress within us maybe you understand what I'm saying but I'm gonna double down on that and say that whenever I see somebody with a digital workspace my brain just does not function that way Thomas Frank is a fantastic example he has a lot of amazing notion tutorials and he's brilliant with what he does. But every time I try to get into Notion, I just cannot use it for more than a day. I kind of like wrap my head around the concept of it, but then it just falls apart. Whereas if I'm writing by hand, everything just kind of flows and goes together. I'll write my to-do list on scrap paper, I'll keep it on my kitchen counter and then toss it when everything gets done. And when I take notes and I'm trying to research something, I'll write it in paper because it helps me retain it better. My brain to paper connects so much better than a digital workspace. It's said when you're actually handwriting your notes, you retain the information better. And this comes from a study of Japanese students where they tracked information retention of these students and this is the conclusion that they came to. One of the reasons that this is the case is that when we hand write, our hands make uh, I'm trying to write while I talk. I'm trying to write my name in cursive while I talk. That's just not working out. One of the reasons that when we handwrite, it helps us retain information more is because there's memory in the movement of our fingers. When we're typing on a keyboard, there's no feedback besides the tactile feedback of the keys. There's no unique feedback to the letters that we're typing. As opposed to handwriting, there is. And I totally stand by that. I'm curious if you guys do too, like leave a comment. But for me, my ability to recall information is so much better when I handwrite it. So for example, in my Notion board, I have like a few dozen entries of notes that came from I don't know when, I'm assuming at some point during lockdown, but I don't remember anything that I wrote about in them. However, I have several series of notebooks that I have information and just by looking at the cover, I can summarize the information that's in those notebooks. It's pretty amazing. And in these notebooks, I reference the points that I make pretty often. And I don't mean to crap on Notion, like you can recall information just by keywords, which you can't do in a notebook. If you don't remember where it is, it's lost for a long time and you have to thumb through pages. By all accounts, digital interfaces are the most efficient way to externalize your thinking and sort and navigate through it. However, it's important to recognize that efficiency is the complete opposite of innovation. You cannot be innovative while being efficient at the same time. When I'm writing notes or getting into journaling and I make a mistake, I have to cross out that mistake and improve upon the prior note. In a digital workstation, you have the delete key, which removes the progress and the steps that you took in order to achieve the final form of your thinking. You don't see the prior iterations. And for me, it's not so much that I wanna preserve like a time capsule of like all of my mess ups, but what each mess up does for me is allow me through each pen stroke to process the way that I think and be able to recall that format later. Is this a bit too heady? And there's one like other major component of all of this that I don't think we really talk about. There's plenty of amazing scheduling and to-do list apps that help for organization. However, 
I notice that when I'm using my phone or at least relying on my phone for a to-do list, it's an opportunity for me to distract. Look at all of these shiny objects. They are opportunities for me to be distracted each time I'm trying to go to my to-do list to figure out what I wanted to do next. I wouldn't consider either the digital or physically writing a to-do list to be the more optimal one. It's whatever works for you. But I'm just trying to raise these questions so that you could just look out and process the thoughts that you may have been thinking but haven't been able to articulate yet. That's the purpose of my videos on this channel. If you wanna see more videos like this one, Click right here. This is a video about journaling that I did last year. I think you're going to like it.